Hello and welcome to our What's New webinar for our new release 19.3. My name is Malte Haring, I'm product owner here at Blue Intelligence, and today I will show you what you can expect from release 19.3. I will start with some general improvements which we did to the tool and afterwards I will go into the specific improvements for each subcomponent we support. Okay, let me start with some general information. We also updated our user manual. This means you can find all relevant information regarding the new functionalities which we introduced with 19.3. In general, we advise to check the user manual out because for all the functionalities in the Doki Performer, you will find help here. Okay, let's talk about improvements. What general improvements did we do? We made the Doki Performer faster, so we were working on performance in different areas. For example, now all query-related functions are up to 19% faster. Uh, we also increased the performance in the comment area. So whenever you are opening a comment of an object, it's now opening up to 90% faster. We've also worked on the performance in the translation tool. Here it's now 75% faster to load the dependent entities of queries into the translation tool. Okay, what else do we do? We work on our comments functionality. From now on, you will be able to check your up-to-dateness of the comments which you maintain for each object. This we realized with a new column in the entity grid, which is showing you visually if the comment uh, of an object is outdated or not. Let me show you how this looks like. So here you can see the new column comment status. And for this multi provider, for example, the comment is outdated. We derive this information by comparing the last technical change date with the date when the comment was last changed or confirmed. So if the technical change date is younger than the comment confirmation date, you will see that the comment is outdated. And this requires some action. So you can either adjust the comment to the new technical status, or you can simply confirm that the comment is still valid. In this way, you will get an up-to-date status again for the object. I will show this later in the system as well in a live demo. What else did we do? Um, we worked on our context menus and the reoccurring functions across components. So now it's even possible to analyze the objects deeper from a various context in the docu performer. It's for example possible to start BV related analysis functions from a, a HANA where used analysis result list. Or it's possible to start BV related functions for BW objects out of a BO analysis. How can this look like? Here you can, for example, see a result list which we did in the HANA component. We analyzed where a certain calculation view is used, and the last entity which you can see here is a HANA composite provider on BW side. And now it's possible that you go straight to the context menu of this HANA composite provider and go to analysis, where you can then deep dive into further where used analysis of the composite. Okay, we also improved our analyze compare functionality. From now on, it is possible to compare and analyze multiple entities of an object type at the same time. This is supported throughout the components, so it's possible for BW objects, for HANA objects, and for BO objects. How does it look like? Well, now when you start the uh, analyze and compare functionality, you will have a list of all the objects which you selected for comparison. I will show this also in the live demo afterwards. Then we worked a little bit on our scenarios. Here we did a special UI rework of the scenario designer and the comment overview to have a clearer picture of what is going on. From now on, it's also possible to create dynamic scenario lists. Meaning, if multiple scenarios are related to each other, you can add now a list, a dynamic list of scenarios to a, um, to a scenario. It's also possible to now create assignment rules based on path directories for BO and HANA objects. Let me show you how this looks like. So this is the area where you can select the scenarios which you would like to add to the dynamic list. And on the right side, you can see how the assignment rules via entities and paths are working. 
So on the bottom right, you have the option to select the HANA path from which you would like to add the entities. Okay, before I get to the business warehouse improvements, I would like you to show the general improvements in the system live. Let me open the docu performer for this. Okay, let me quickly sign on to our BW system. First of all, I would like to show you how the common status looks like. Therefore, I'm searching for a multi provider which I prepared. And what you can see for this query, for this query, you can, for example, see that the status is outdated. Why is it outdated? Yes, the last technical change date is the 29th of October. And the last date when the comment was confirmed or changed was the 28th of October. So you can see the ch uh, technical change date is younger than the comment confirmation date, which leads to a status outdated. How can you change the status? Well, via context menu, you can go to the section comments, and then you can either edit the comment to adjust it to the new technical setting of the query, or you can simply confirm the comment if no changes are needed. In this case, I will simply confirm the comment. Here you can see that now the status is up to date. All right, let me show you the new functionality of Analyze Compare, where you can now compare and analyze multiple entities of an object type. Therefore, I go to queries and I select the two queries which I would like to compare. Let's, for example, take this one and this one. We start the analysis and the analysis tool is now preparing both queries for comparison and analysis. Okay, here we go. So this is the first query we would like to analyze. And here we have the second query with its structure. It's even possible to compare these to other queries in the system. So here I can select a system for comparison. And now the analysis tool is selecting the same queries in the uh, system BI1, which makes it possible to compare both queries at the same time. Let me quickly highlight the differences and activate parallel scrolling. And now you can see I can scroll through both queries and for both queries, I get the elements which are different. All right, let's get back to the presentation. Let's talk about business warehouse specific improvements. What did we improve for BW? First of all, we are now supporting BW for HANA 2.0. This means if you have a BW for HANA 2.0 in place, you are now able to use all the BW functions which you are used to. We are also supporting new entity types. You are now able to synchronize navigation attributes, display attributes, and XXL attributes. These objects can from now on be commented and documented in the tool. How does it look like? On the left side, you will see all these new entity types under info objects. And here you will be able to select them in the entity grid and create comments and documentations. We also added some new well used analysis functions. From now on, it's possible to analyze planning sequences and filters to see where they are used. For planning sequences, for example, you will now be able to see in which aggregations they are used or in which process variants. For filters, for example, you will be able to see in which planning sequences they are used or in which queries. Okay, let's get to the BO improvements. What changed for BO? Well, first of all, we made the connection between our BW and BO component even better. So from now on, if you are analyzing data flows for a certain BW object, you will see the dependent AFO reports or Lumira reports on top of their queries. This will give you a complete picture across the components. How does it look like? Here's, for example, the data flow of a composite provider. And as you can see on the top layer, you see that there is an analysis office workbook and two Lumira documents, which are depending on this composite provider. 
This is, of course, also working for queries. And here you have an example list how the result looks like if you're using the way used analysis of a query in BO reports. Okay, what else changed? It's now possible to display the JavaScript coding of the mirror reports in the analysis function. Here you can expand all structure elements of the Lumira document down even to the JavaScript code. With the search functionality, you can even search through the specific lines. I will show you uh, this in a minute. Okay, what else? Well, it's even now possible to find references in the Lumira component. This means you can check, for example, the direct usage of entities in data binding or in coding. As a result, you will get a clear list which is showing you what elements are depending on which elements. I will show you this also in a minute. This is how it looks like. So you can now use the context menu of a certain element, click on find references, and you will get a list of all entities which are depending on the chart one in this case. You even are able to look into the specific coding. Okay, for AFO, it's now also possible to create Excel documentation. How does it look like? Well, if you export the documentation of an AFO workbook, it will give you this list. Okay. Let's jump into the system and show you some of the functionality in a live demo. Therefore, I open the Doki Performer again. I now, of course, have to connect to the BO system. Here we are. You can now see that the Lumira 2.x documents are available in the selection. If I click on this, I will get a list of all entities available. Let's take, for example, this AK underscore test one and go jump into the analysis. Okay, now we have the clear structure of the Lumira document. What I can do now is I can expand this report even to, uh, and down to its coding lines, to the JavaScript coding. And it's even possible to search through this. So if I type, for example, sharp type picker, I will get highlighted where this uh, string is used. Let me show you how the find references functionality works. So if you now select one element and you go, uh, go to the context menu, you can click on find references. The tool is now giving you a result list of all elements where this, uh, where this cross tab one is used. And now you can even jump to the specific coding. Here you go. Okay, back to the presentation. HANA improvements. What HANA improvements did we do? Well, first of all, we worked on the where used analysis for catalog entities. So it's now possible to analyze where HANA indexes are being used, where sequences are being used, tables, table types, views, and also virtual tables. The result list of such analysis looks like this. So you can simply select, for example, a table and check in which entities, HANA entities, it is used. Okay. That's it about our improvements. Now, let me give you a watch out what you can expect in the next release 20.1. First of all, we are proud to announce that in future, we will be able to support SAP Analytics Cloud. You will be able to document and analyze your stories. Furthermore, we are still working on our BO, where used analysis. In future, you will be able to search the coding of certain reports via a string search. Okay, that's it regarding the roadmap to 20.1. Some further important notes. If you would like to know what future webinars you can expect from us, please visit our website 
Here you will have a scheduled calendar, which you can search for certain webinars. In general, if you have technical issues, please uh, feel free to contact our support. Or if you have great ideas to improve the DocuPerformer, you can create feature requests also via our help desk. If you now saw some functionalities which are not part of your license yet, feel free to contact us. We either show you the functionalities in a personal, individual web session, or we are also happy to come to you and show you the presentation of the functionalities in an on-site session with your systems. In general, we offer a 60-day trial version in case you shouldn't have a certain module certified. Okay, that's it from my side. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the new features and I hope to see you again. Bye.